let's catch him. Let's show him who's boss. And that Harrier is already gone. I tried being nice to them, but whatever. Okay, chalo, I'm bored. I have just told him to pull over right now. Chasing a Mercedes C-Class on the highway. It's actually good for me that I keep finding somebody or the other on the road every time. I do these drives of 1,000, 200, 1,300 kilometers with an empty stretch of road would be so boring. See now I don't even need to overtake him, I'll just keep cruising behind him and at least it'll keep it interesting, you know, so that I don't get bored. Just trying to keep up with him so that I don't get bored, so that it's easier to follow somebody. Because if you keep looking out at the road, now it's a blank road, it's an empty road, you easily get bored. So it is better for you to, as you can see, yeah. So it is better for you to actually keep following somebody just so that, you know, you stay alert and you know drive becomes safer now though in this road empty stretches of road with this amount of sunlight it's easy for you to tire out and get bored so just be careful and even when you're following follow the right cars and not maniacs okay Sometimes I get comments as to how comfortable a jeep is on the highway. You can see with all the drama that I'm doing, Madam is comfortably sleeping. <laughs> so that is how comfortable this is. You know, whatever the driver is doing, the co-driver barely feels it. So it's a very good car for whoever is considering. Harrier's also going pretty decent. <laughs> that guy. So right now I guess the new companion will be this Harrier. But I'm sure that Mercedes is going to catch up. So waiting for the star. Let's wait for the star. You can see, there he goes! Impressive, so it's going to be Jeep Compass versus Harrier. Let's have some fun! Ah, Tata boys, don't even try, okay? You're driving the engine that Jeep has perfected. Don't you dare mess with Bob. Ah. I was getting 
come down to 13.5. I was at 15, 16. And then this happened. Oh, and one more thing. For everybody Just who keep keeps things, considering huh? uh, automatic transmission, you can see, I think that Harrier was automatic transmission and especially that Mercedes is an automatic transmission. You can see that, you know, when it broke in front of that car, in front of that Ertiga, it could not pull ahead because of that automatic transmission. Whereas manual, I could easily downshift and pull ahead. So that is the advantage of uh, manual transmissions. So all of you do consider. I don't know why everybody is migrating towards uh, automatic transmissions. So I think uh, manual transmission is the best. You can see Harrier is still trying, but right now it is just the two of us. problem I face with tolls is while everybody else has got fast tag, I do not have fast tag. So everybody else just skips through the line and they zip past. So the Mercedes has gone ahead, right now that Harrier is also ahead as you can see. I reached the tolls first but I exited last. So now it's a game of cat and mouse and I need to catch them. Finally let me just catch up to that Merc and then uh, enough here. Bore or wrong. As you can see it's raining also. So it's a very beautiful weather. Mark, do not piss me off, Mark. Where are you, Mark? So guys, that was another race between uh, the Jeep Compass and the Mercedes C-Class. Now the Mercedes C-Class, I always wanted to have a race with that car because I've already had a race with Audi A6. That was a victorious race, I must say, now with the Mercedes as well. So the only car that is remaining is the BMW. Nonetheless, the Mercedes guy drove really well because not everybody that has such an expensive car is willing to push it and put the pedal to the metal.
has stopped because he's given up. He realizes who's who. Coming to the Tata Harrier, that is again race which I wanted to do from a very long time. Presently in the Indian market, I guess that is the biggest competition there is. That is the Tata Harrier versus the XUV 700 versus the Jeep Compass. So what people are doing is they are going for the Tata Harriers and the XUV 700, and the sales of Jeep, Com Jeep Compass are quite low. See, not bad until like 150, 160. I have to tell yes. you guys that it is the same engine that is there in the Tata Harrier as well. The same Jeep Compass engine that is there in the Tata Harrier as well. So it's got the same power figures. It's got the same uh, torque figure. Those were two races simultaneously. One was the Mercedes and the Tata Harrier. So hope you guys like this video. Thank you for watching. Drive carefully. Do not try this if you are not able to handle the vehicle that is in your hand because this is not for the faint hearted and it requires a lot of skill. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned and I'll I'll see you on the next one. Bye guys.